hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss something new about Odo version 13 so you all know that Odo version 13 has been released first of this month that is october first week during Odo experience held in belgium so Odo 13 comes with a lot of new features and we have discussed in all our previous videos uh, regarding different features so one of the feature of Odo version 13 is that Odo version 13 supports mass editing in the tree view so you may not get what is mass editing inside the tree view so few of those you might know what is mass editing but some might be not aware of that so i'll come to it suppose if i go to accounting and then to the customers tree view so you have got the customers here and i'll just click on customers and here it's content view i'll just switch to the tree view so here from inside the tree view so let's take a case suppose i'll just remove the customers here and i'll filter you can see there are different customers regarding azure interior that is this is a parent contact comes with three child contacts so let's take a case where we need to update phone number of all the four contacts to a single number so if you check the screen right now here all the four contacts are getting different phone numbers so let's assume a case where we need to give same phone numbers for all the four all the four contacts that you are seeing inside the screen so here if i select all the records and if i try to edit here you can see it's getting form view open we are not able to edit the tribute so if this is the case what we have to do is that we have to open one record manually click on edit button set the phone number then we have to do repeated we have to repeat the same process for rest of the contacts so if you are using auto 13 you don't want to do like that there is an option for editing the tree view itself you can just select the records and make editing the tree view so but right now we are not getting that feature we have to enable something so i'll just activate the developer mode first so i'll go to settings and from the settings i'll just activate the developer mode from here you can see activate the developer mode button here now i'll come back to the accounting and to the customers menu itself you can see i have got the customers here so as i have activated the developer mode i'm getting the debugger button here i'll just click on here and i'll click on edit view list i'm going to edit the list view so i just click on edit view list and here you can see the code of the corresponding tree view that you are seeing in the back end sorry back end means i'm just back of the desired so here you have to add something that is here i'm going to add multi edit that is multi edit multi edit equal to one so I, along with the tree definition i'm just give multi underscore edit equal to one okay then just save it okay fine it has got saved then now i'll just refresh the view okay you can see uh, the view has got refreshed now let's take case so i'll just switch to the azure interior contacts so what we are going to do is that we are going to update four numbers of all the four contacts that we are seeing here in the screen so i have just selected all the contacts click here enter the phone number one two three four five six seven eight nine then click outside somewhere then you can see are you sure you want to perform the following update on the four records that is i'm going to update the field phone number the value that i'm going to enter is one two three four five six seven eight nine then click on ok then you can see all the contacts get updated with the same phone number same thing you can do for all the fields suppose if i need to change the email click on here and i'll just update the email with automates at gmail.com you are getting suggestions okay then click outside then once you click outside you can see are you sure you want to perform the following updates on the four records field i'm going to update is email with the new email is automates at gmail.com click on ok you can see the email also got updated with the order records so from here i'll just show few more fields to the thing that is just shown the tax id so let's update the tax id i'm not sure whether same tax id can be given to the different peoples so anyway let's try i'll just give the tax id as 789 okay i'll just click on okay you can see it's accepting so like this we can edit multiple records at a time using Odo version 13 that is mass editing we are editing the records as a mass so for that what you have to do is that click on here edit view list and you have to give 
this so this can be either done by editing the ui also you can do the same from the backend coding also don't forget that just add tree for the tree just define multi underscore edit equal to true so the same thing can be done from the user interface as well as from the coding section so that's all about this video so if you have any queries regarding this you can just directly contact us over the email that is odomage.gmail.com feel free to contact us regarding any queries or any doubts regarding auto development or auto functional we are happy to help you and if you feel this channel is helpful for, helpful for you you can just refer the channel to your colleagues and ask them to subscribe the channel and support us by liking all the videos thank you